Hello dear children, welcome back. By the previous class we had completed our last chapter. You know how to draw bar graph for the given data and you know how to analyze bar graphs and double bars for getting answers. Is it? Now we can check our pre homework answers. Okay. Now in this class we are going to revise our portions by answering previous years question papers. Now we can see the first question, listen to the question, here this graph you can draw in your notebook and write down the questions and answer these questions, okay. First question, on which day more number of people came to see the circus? This bar diagram shows the number of people who came to the Jawahar circus 6 days of that week. By analyzing the bar graph, you have to answer the questions. So, first question is this, on which day more number of people came to see the circus? On which day it is? Yes, it is on Saturday, is it? On which days the equal number of people came to see circus? On which days? Same. Yes, it is on Monday and Thursday. And the sec third question make a table showing the number of people who came to see circus in which in each day okay so you have to draw a table and what to write all the measurements that is draw a table and write the days that is monday tuesday uh, wednesday thursday friday and saturday and against each day you have to write the what the number of people came to see circus okay so please draw the table and write the measurements that is on monday 600 yes on tuesday 400 and on wednesday 300 then on thursday yes again 600 on friday it is 500 and on saturday it is 900 so draw a table and write all these things okay now we can discuss the second question see children this is our second question this is from yes joining angles so here you have to answer three questions for that for the first question it is given that angle AOC is equal to angle POB and we have to find out the measure of angle BOD and in the second question you have to find the measure of angle AOD and third one opposite angle of angle BOC. So, let us do the problem listen here. Okay children angle AOC is equal to POB can you see okay these two angles are equal. So, we can we know that these three angle sum is for 180 degree for Finding angle BOD, first we can write angle AOC plus angle POC plus angle POB is equal to 180 degree. Is it? Now, it is given that these two angles are equal and this is 100 degree. So, we can write angle AOC plus angle POB, POB is equal to 180 minus 100. This, the reason is angles in linear pair. You must write that and 100 degree. So, this is 80 degree. So, these two angle sum is 80 degree and these two angles are equal then how can we write? Yes, angle AOC is equal to angle POB is equal to 80 divided by 2, 40 degree. Now, we can write here 40 degree and here also 40 degree. Now, we have to find the measure of angle BOD. What will be the angle BOD? Yes, it is 40 degree. Why? Oh, how we are getting this is 40 degree? Yes, this is the angle opposite to angle AOC. So, we can write angle BOD is equal to 40 degree because angle AOC and angle BOD are 
opposite angles okay so angle bod is equal to 40 degree because this angle is opposite to angle aoc understood now we can do the second problem i'm going to rub all this second problem we have to find the measure of angle aod that is this angle how can we find this okay we we can find this in many method okay but i'm going to take these two angles are a linear pair all these two angles are linear pair that is why. okay so we can write angle aod is equal to 180 minus 40 how we are getting this 180 minus 40 these two angles sum is 180 degree because what angles in linear pair which angles in linear pair yes either angle aod angle aod and angle bod these two angles are angles in linear pair that is why in order to get the measure of angle aod we have to subtract 40 from 180 so we'll get 100 40 degree this is the second question answer the third question which is the angle opposite to angle boc where is angle boc angle boc which is angle opposite to angle boc yes it is angle aod which is at angle aod so this is the third answer got it children now we can see our third question listen to the problem children in this table the number of triangles and the number of matrix used for making the triangles are given okay so the picture one one triangle we got and the matrix used is 3 and the second case we got two triangles for that 2 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 5 matrix are used and the third case we have three triangles and we have to find out how many matrix are used and for the fourth case also we have to find out the number of matrix used so there are four questions listen the question complete the table and the second question how many matrix to be needed for making 12 such triangles what is the relationship between the number of triangles and the number of matrix and in the fourth question if l represents the number of triangles and s represents the number of matrix in then what is the relation between l and s okay so see children here you can see what this three matrix are used for getting one triangle okay in the second case we need five matrix and that five is written like this 2 into 2 plus 1 where from where we got this 2 that is 2 is the number of triangles and this three also we can write like this 1 is the number of triangle and 1 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 here how many matrix are used for getting three triangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven matrix are used then how can we write this yes we need we got three triangles 3 into 2 plus 1 it is 7 okay number of triangles into 2 plus 1 we will get the number of matrix and the fourth case how many four triangle for getting four triangle how many matrix are needed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and how you are getting this four into 2 Plus one is equal to nine. Okay, so we had completed the first question that is completing the table. Second question we have to find out for getting twelve such triangles, how many matrix are used? Okay, for one triangle one into two plus one three. For two triangles two into two plus one five. Three triangles three into two plus one. Four triangles four into two plus one. And for twelve triangles. How we will get? Yes, twelve into two plus one. Twelve twos are twenty-four plus one. Twenty-five matrix are needed. 
Now, in the C question, we have to find out the relation between number of triangles and number of matrix. Okay, here the 12 is the number of triangle. So, we can write number of triangles, number of triangles is multiplied with 2, then add 1 to get number of matrix. Now, in the fourth question or in D question, we have to write this relation using letters. Already letters are given in the question, so we can use that letters. Number of triangles, you must write this one, okay, number of which letter is using for each one. Number of triangles is L, number of matrix is equal to S. We have to write a relation connecting L and S. So, in the in my number of triangle we can give L then 2 it is a constant in every case it is 2 and 1. So, into 2 plus 1 is S. S means number of matrix. So, we can write this again L into 2 a number and a letter comes together. So, let us write the number first and remove the multiplication sign. So, we will get 2 L plus 1 is equal to S. Got it children? Okay. Now, we can revise the things what we had studied in this class. We had revised the portions by answering question papers. Okay. We had answered 3 questions in this class. Now, we have to do one problem from the question paper. Listen the problem. So, we can see in the next class. Thank you.